Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, the best place for all things sewing. I'm Katrina and today we are going to be talking about the Knoxville knot top. More specifically, how to do each of the knot options. This pattern comes in women's and children's sizes and we'll link the pattern as well as some more information down below. Let's dive in. We're gonna start with the bottom knot. Once you have all your pattern pieces cut out, we're gonna take our front bodice piece and we're gonna lay it right sides together along that bottom curve. We're gonna sew with a 3 8 inch seam allowance, but leave the notch that you cut out open. We don't want to sew that part. With your bottom knot shirt, you're going to have this cut out and you're gonna cut up that slit and there is a little marking on your pattern piece that you will also transfer over as well. So you're going to put your bodice right sides together, lining up this curve. And with a 3 8 seam allowance, you're going to stitch just along this curve. You're not gonna stitch the cutout part, just the curve. Your piece will look like this and you will have an opening right here. We're gonna leave that alone. You'll open up your bodice right side up. There, here's the hole from before. Now go ahead and continue on with your instructions, doing your sleeves and your back bodice until the very last step after you hem and we will come back and show you how to complete the bottom knot. All right, now that we have our top assembled, we are gonna work on the knot. You're gonna take the two tabs that you have and put the right side of that tab into the shirt towards the wrong side of your bodice. Now that I have your bodice completed, we're gonna work on the knot. You have two tabs and you're going to push the right tab in towards the wrong side of the bodice and you're going to take the left tab and rotate it down towards your hem line. Scrunch the hem up towards your tab and on the wrong side you're going to take the other tab that you have in right sides together. You're gonna line these tabs up, scrunching your hem in between. You're going to pin it in place and sew along this tab, back stitching at the beginning and the end. Now you're gonna take your tabs take your tabs and turn them right side out And you're gonna cover the seam that you had. I'll show you. So you have the seam going up your shirt. You're gonna fold this over right side out and cover up that seam. It'll take just a little bit of messing around and getting it, but you will have your bottom knot. Now we are going to do the twist knot. 
This is your front bodice with your twist knot top. And you're gonna wanna make sure you have this extra little slit cut on from your pattern piece. This will help with hemming. The first step is to serge or zigzag along this curve and along this curve. Now that you have your edges surged or zigzagged, we're gonna take this bottom part that's sticking out, we're gonna fold it up to line it up with the side of your bodice piece. Pin it in place. With a quarter inch seam allowance, you're going to sew from the outside edge of your bodice along the curve, leaving a three quarter of an inch opening right here. This is where your knot will come through later. Now that you have that stitched in place along this curve, leaving an opening here, you'll have a hole right there. It's it has extended the side of your bodice and that will have it line up with the back bodice piece. Go ahead and finish sewing your shirt until we get to the hemming step. All right, with your twist knot top, we have it hemmed three quarters of an inch and it will end right up here by this curve and where we sewn before and you left that opening right here. Your knot's going to go through this hole. Take your hem and fold it over so that it'll give you a nice clean finish and you're going to line this up right sides along this curve. This is the next step we're going to sew but we're not going to sew it yet. I'm going to use different color clips so it's easier to see what we're lining up. Um, but you can do this with pins or anything like that. So you're going to pin it in place with this hem folded over. There you go. So you have this curve clipped. Do not sew it yet. We are going to move just this top layer, just this layer through the hole. This is where people get tripped up. So first what we're gonna do is unclip the blue clip. I'm gonna leave that clip here. It's kinda hard to get the clip through the hole. So this is the blue. It was just lined up with this blue clip. And we're gonna go through the hole And we're gonna line it, it feels a little bit weird. We're gonna line it right back up with that blue clip, how it was clipped before. Just now you have this right side of your bodice sandwiched in between. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the red. Leave the red clip where it's at and pull it through your hole more. And you're gonna re clip it on that side. Again, we're only pulling that top layer through the hole. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same with the purple. Unclip and leave that purple clip in place and pull it through, lining that top layer back up with the purple. and clipping it in place. So now you have this messy curved space and this is where you're going to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Back stitching at the beginning and end all the way up to this knot. You want to get it pretty close because it'll keep your knot in place but all the way from the blue clip, quarter inch seam allowance, 
all the way right up against this knot, this fabric on this purple clip. All right, now that you have this curve sewn in place, you're gonna pull the fabric back through. It's gonna take a little bit of adjusting and messing with. But there you have your knot and it will not pull back through. And you're done. You made the twist version of the Knoxville top. Let us know in the comments down below which version you want to try first, the bottom knot or the twist knot. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.